Hello everyone, I welcome you all to Geeky Script. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to install the latest version of Arduino on a Windows operating system. And after that, I am also going to run a simple Arduino programming onto our Arduino Uno. And I am going to show you how we can easily run that project on our Arduino Uno. So do watch the video till the end. I can guarantee you that if you watch the video till the end, you will be learning a lot of new things. And if you still face any issues in middle, you can always comment in your comment sessions. I will try my best to help you. Now to install Arduino, you need to first simply go to your favorite browser and to just simply search over here Arduino IDE Download and hit enter. And you will be seeing this www.arduino.cc is our first link. So you need to click on the software's um, pipe uh, Arduino and it's going to redirect to the official site of Arduino. So you know you need to accept these cookies and all. So this link I am going to put right in our description so you can directly use that link to land over to the official site of Arduino. And here you can see at the time of making of this video the Arduino ID version is 2.2.1. So maybe if you are watching this video much later you might see a different version but whatever steps that I am showing on this video will be pretty much same. If I see that there is a major change then I am going to make another video don't worry you can totally follow this video. So here you can see under download options we have all these offer operating systems like Windows, Linux and Mac OS. So I am going to download it for Windows so I am going to select the first one which is Windows 10 and newer so 64 bits so I am going to click on that and it's going to redirect to this page you can always you know donate some amount because they have really developed a good software so for now i'm going to click on just download and i'm going to again click on just download and you can see that our file is rightly started downloading right i have already downloaded it so i'll cancel this i'll minimize my browser i'll go to my download directory and here you can see that the same uh, arduino id is already been downloaded over here version 2.2.1 Right, so to install it, you just simply double click on the software and you can minimize your download directory. So this is our license agreement, you can always read this, click on I agree and uh, now it is telling uh, whether you'd like to use it for only you or whoever using this computer. I'm going to keep it only for me, alright, no other user I, I want to allow. So just going to click on next. So this is where our Arduino ID is going to be installed which is totally fine. You can keep this default just simply click on install and there you go you can see our installation is rightly began right so this will take some time you know about a couple of minutes so after that i'm going to again come back to this video and you can see that our arduino id is rightly installed also this run our arduino id option is also selected so you know everything is totally fine you can check this arduino id you can see desktop shortcut is also created over here so you know I am going to check this uh, run Ad Arduino IDE and I am going to click on finish. So what it will do is it will going to start launching our Arduino IDE. So you need to have active internet connection so it's going to fetch some libraries and going to install it. So that is what it is doing right now so you know you can see the version is also set now. So here also it is asking about the firewall so you need to enable allow that feature actually so click on allow access and it's going to see downloading some of the libraries so it, it will you know take some time just give some time again click on allow access because uh, we don't want firewall to block any of the you know libraries that they uh, intend to download and you can see it is you know properly downloading and installing it will also ask you for administrative privileges click on yes and uh, it is now telling do you like to install this software so you can see this Adafruit Industries, LLC Ports, Com and LPT something they are going to install. You can totally trust this just simply click on install to install all these device drivers. Now it is about USB driver. So I am going to show you in the latter part of the video how you can connect Arduino Uno with our Arduino IDE. So you know uh, so for that you need a USB driver right. So that's what we are currently installed. So just simply click on install. Similarly, it is also about this driver. Again, click on install to install all our drivers. Install. So basically, again, it's going to ask you for administrative privileges. Click on yes. And you can see it is installing, downloading and installing all the required drivers. 
libraries and all that right so currently everything is done now so it is also telling no board is selected so let's first you know go to our tools and click on hover over board basically and then hover over this Arduino EVR board and you'll be seeing we have a lot many boards available right so from here whichever board you are using you need to select that so I'm going to select Arduino Uno as I'm going to use Arduino Uno you might be using Arduino Uno mini so you need to just simply check that whatever you are using you need to select that I'm going to choose Arduino Uno and after that I'm going to connect my Arduino Uno with uh, our laptop using USB so I'm currently doing that and once we are done with this you need to again go back to your IDE Arduino IDE and then you need to hover over tool and you need to choose one port but here you can see that this port is disabled right so this is grayed out completely so in my previous videos I have already showed you how you can enable port so you know do watch that video I am going to put that link in the description and now if I go to tools again you can see now the port option is enabled so I have performed those steps that I have showed you on that video so please follow that video to get your port enabled just in case if you are seeing that port is disabled for you 99% of the time you will see port is enabled alright so once you see that port is enabled so now you need to hover over that and you can select one port I am going to select COM7 and you can click on this drop down you can see it is selecting Arduino Uno then COM7 so after doing all that let's you know select one of the examples so I will go to file I will hover over example and I am going to select the simple blink application so on basics you will be seeing one blink application so just simply open that blink application so it is rightly opened over here and you can see that our blink application is rightly opened over here so if you scroll down you can clearly see that we have a code over here so first it has a void setup so in setup we have called this pint mode so in pin mode we have passed this LED built in and output alright and in our loop we can see we have called this uh, digital write so again LED built in high we are putting so first it will turn on our light and then after a delay of one millisecond it's going to again uh, you know put our bulb that is LED built in low we are doing so it's going to turn off our light and then we are having again another delay of one second so ultimately what going to happen is our LED going to blink you know just a one second interval right so let's you know increase this delay to something like four millisecond four hundred four thousand millisecond so what that mean is like every you know four second you know it's going to turn into low and then after every one second it's going to again turn into high so you can clearly see that you know difference all right so after doing this much if you just simply click on this upload button it's going to start compiling our sketch and going to push our code into our Arduino Uno so you can see it is done uploading and immediately you can see on our Arduino Uno the blinking is happening right so after every four seconds it turns into low and then after every one second it again turn into high right you can clearly see that happening so in this way you can easily install latest version of Arduino Uno on a Windows operating system. So that's basically all about this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe that really help me to make more such videos. Thank you very much for watching this video and God bless you all.